Hello, Royal fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft locomotive tutorial. Today, we're going to be building this Genesee in Wyoming GP15 1. Genesee in Wyoming is a short line holding company that owns 122 railroads worldwide. So, this can fit in as a short line locomotive almost anywhere as they always end up painting their locomotives in this orange paint scheme. So let's get into it here. So as usual, I'm going to be building this on the front of the train I already have. So our first step is to take out a dark oak stair for the coupler and get it attached up. Then we're going to take out a dark oak fence gate. We're going to put it underneath for an air hose. Come up on the locomotive behind it if you have one. Delete the fence gates to either side and replace them with fences and extend them out. Then we're going to take out yellow concrete for the plow because these have bright yellow plows and we're going to get three on the next block down coming across the rails on the outside edges upside down outward facing oak stairs then a row of five yellow concrete and then above that three yellow concrete in the middle come around behind it and we're going to make this t-shaped pattern then put an end rod on bottom above each rail behind that we're going to make a five by three of yellow concrete coming to each side of the rail here. Then we're going to do our wheels. Take out a block of netherite and get netherite on each rail one block back behind this with an end rod in between to be an axle. Then a row of black stone slabs on the upper hip box coming five wide across the rails. Behind that, we're going to make a back-to-back T-shaped -back pattern of upside-down blackstone stairs. That's five wide. So five that way, five this way. Then five blackstone slabs coming across again. Then the next set of wheels, so netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then take dark oak fence gate, open them into the ends of the wheels here, and open it into the ends of the wheels on this side here. Then we're going to switch to a polished blackstone block, come around on top of this, and start filling in this top middle three, coming from the front of the truck here, down to the back. We'll come out above those fence gates in two more rows of three. Then we'll come underneath this end one and put three more on bottom. Then we're going to take polished blackstone stairs upside down facing outward coming off that bottom there in a row that's eight blocks long in total. Swing around like this and put three blackstone blocks across the rail. Then back to polished blackstone stairs and connect it up with the front eight blocks long upside down facing outward. Then we'll switch back to polished blackstone block and continue filling this top middle three and above the fuel tank here. Bring it down to the end and we'll stop right at the fuel tank for now. Then back to netherite for our wheels and we need to get uh, the third block back. Netherite on each rail with an end rod axle so there's two blocks of space between that and the fuel tank. Then on the upper hip box, five wide of blackstone slabs. Then switch to blackstone stairs here, five wide and upside down in a back to back T-shaped pattern. So five that way five upside down stairs this way. Behind that, another row of five black stone slabs. Then our last set of wheels, so netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then take dark oak fence gate, open them into the ends of the wheels here, and open them into the ends of the wheels over here. Now we'll switch back to polished blackstone and continue bringing this top middle three down. So extend it out from the fuel tank down to the end of this truck here. We'll stop above the fence gates. Then switch to yellow concrete and we need to get a 5 by 3 coming across to each side of the rails. Then we're going to make this T-shaped pattern and we're going to put an end rod down on bottom above each rail. In front of that, three yellow concrete on bottom, and then 
upside down outward facing oak stairs on either side. Then a row of five yellow concrete and on top three in the middle. Then we're going to switch to a dark oak fence gate to be the coupler, swing around like this and get it stacked up to that second block. Delete the ones used for placement. Underneath that we put a dark oak fence gate for an air hose and swing around like this and on either side of the coupler two dark oak fence gates opened into the plow. Then switch to a dark oak slab to be our stairs and put three of them coming up in this gap. Same thing on the other side, three slabs coming up on the bottom hit boxes of all the blocks. Then we'll do our stairs over here. So three slabs coming up in here and three slabs coming up in here. Now we're going to take out a hopper, come on the sides of the truck, and everywhere there's a wheel, put a hopper in front of it. Same thing over on the other side here. So put a hopper in front of these two wheels, and a hopper in front of these two wheels. Then we're going to take a dark oak trap door and run a line across the top of the truck here on the side from wheel to wheel. Same thing here. Then we'll do the other side, so a line of trap doors going wheel to wheel here. And one more corner to go, a line of trap doors here, going from wheel to wheel. Now we're going to come on the front of the fuel tank here with a player head to be our fuel cap. And mine's going to be facing the void, so this is the front. Put a player head on either side, then behind that, a sideways crimson sign for a fuel gauge. Come behind the fuel tank here, and we're going to have to crouch, and on that block down behind the fuel tank, crouch and put a string on either side, because the air tanks actually extend out over the back of the fuel tank. Take out anvils for our fuel tank and run a line down and one above the string we just placed. So the fuel tank is ending before the air tanks. Same thing on this side. A line of anvils with one sticking out behind the fuel tank. Now we're going to take out a bell here and come on the conductor side at the front of the fuel tank and hang a bell right there. Then take out a chain and we're going to have to crouch to place it. Put a chain in this gap. And then same thing on this side, two chains in this gap. Spin around, put a chain up here, and a chain in that corner. Then we'll come back here, and same thing, we'll have to crouch to place it. Put a chain in that gap, a chain in that gap, and then a chain in each of these corners. Then we're gonna take out yellow concrete on this third block up, and we're gonna start filling it in five wide and going from end to end across the locomotive. Now we'll come on the front end of the locomotive here with orange concrete and we're going to come in the middle two blocks back from the front and we'll put a column of three orange concrete then another column kitty corner to that on the outside on either side. Swing around like this just one concrete on that side and a column of three on the other. Then two orange concrete on the outside edge on bottom like this for a stair. Same thing on this side. Then we're going to make a column of four orange concrete on either side of the outside edge. Behind that a two by two of orange concrete on either side. Then two coal on either side to be the locomotive number. Then a column of four orange concrete behind it on both sides. Then black stained glass pane for the side windows on either side. Swing around to the front and we'll put black stained glass pane on either side for the front windows and an orange stained glass pane in the middle. Then above that we'll put three orange concrete coming across the middle of the front here. And we'll put one block sticking forward in the middle. Then fill in the cab roof with orange concrete coming to the back of the cab here. Then we'll take black stone stairs, outward facing right side up, and run a row of four on each side above the windows. Now we'll come to the rear end of the locomotive with orange concrete. 
and we'll start in the middle two blocks from the end and we'll make a column of five. Then a column of five kitty corner on either side of that. Then starting on bottom in front of this here, we're going to make a row that's too high of orange concrete going from the back all the way to the front of the locomotive. Same thing on the other side. Then we're going to go ahead and come back up towards the front of the locomotive here and come right behind the cab. On the conductor side here, we stack a column of two orange concrete. On the engineer side, a column of two and then one going off to the left so we have a stairway to get up to the door. On this side, we skip one block back to leave room for a door and we make a column of two. Then we extend that two back all the way from the front to the rear end of the locomotive here. On this side, we'll bring a column of two down as well, except on this side, it comes all the way up to connect to the back of the cab. So just keep bringing the orange concrete forward here. Make sure it comes right up to the cab. Then we'll put a row of three orange concrete on top, right behind the cab. Then behind that on each side, we'll put a row of three polished basalt, with the pattern going vertically. Fill in the middle with any block it'll be covered. Then we'll cover this 3x3 three three with black stone slabs. Then we're going to come to the back with an orange shulker box and bring a row of five forward on each side. Then switch back to your orange concrete here and start filling in this middle. And I accidentally opened it there. Continue on with your orange concrete and fill in this top middle three coming all the way up to the front here so the whole roof is filled in. Now we're going to come on the back on top here with an oak trap door. And starting at the back there, we're going to fill in three wide of oak trap doors. You'll have to crouch to place them above the shulker boxes. Bring them right up to the front of the shulker boxes. Then come on the side of the back here, skip a block down under the last shulker box, and we're going to knock out a two by four. We're going to fill that with iron bars. So two rows of four iron bars. There's a very see-through vent on the back of this one. We'll come over on this side and we'll knock out that same pattern. So a two by four here. Then we're going to get a block of netherite to fill the gaps here. So come in here stack up on the side here and down the top of this with netherite. Same thing, two there and fill in the bottom just so there's no open space when you look in it. Then you can put your iron bars in. So this is pretty much an empty space just to take in air. Then we're going to come on top here right behind where the polished basalt is. And on the outside edge behind it we're going to knock out two blocks put in orange shulker boxes. Same thing on this side. Two blocks replaced with orange shulker boxes. Then this has a dual exhaust and we're going to use flower pots for that. So come on the top middle, one block behind here, put a flower pot for the front exhaust. Same thing in the middle, another one for the rear exhaust, but we're actually going to skip two blocks in front of there. Now we're going to come on top of the cab in the front middle and open back-to-back -back dark oak fence gates for the home. Then we're going to start filling in the roof anywhere we didn't build anything with black carpet here. Same thing back here. Black carpet anywhere we didn't build anything. We'll have to crouch to put them on the shulker boxes here. So same thing here. Surround these exhausts. And if you wanted to to make it look better you could also replace the blocks under the exhaust with black wool and then fill in the rest of the roof with black carpet. Then we're going to come on the conductor side here with orange stained glass pane for our blower. We'll make one column, then a second, third, and fourth. So it's coming up right to the bottom of that vent. Knock out the black under the rear shulker box and put a yellow concrete. There's a little logo there. Same thing on this side. Knock out under the shulker box, replace with yellow concrete. Thank you.
Then I'm going to take out white concrete and under this shulker box on the end, knock out two and put white concrete in there. There's an Operation Lifesaver sticker there. Same thing on this side, so under this shulker box and one forward and two white concrete. Now we need to make some banners, so come into a loom. An orange banner and black dye. Horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom. New banner and yellow dye. Vertical on the left, then switch to black dye. Horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom. New banner, and we're gonna use yellow dye again. Vertical on the right, switch to black dye. Horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom. Then we're gonna take those banners, switch to orange dye, put an orange border around both of the banners that have yellow. Then we gotta make one more banner here. So we're gonna go ahead and take out another orange banner with black dye. Horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom. Then we're gonna switch to yellow dye here and we're gonna make a yellow circle in the middle. Then we're gonna switch back to orange dye and put a border around that one. Now come on the nose and on the front of the nose on top, in the middle, hang the banner with a yellow circle. Then to either side, the one with two stripes. Same thing, wrap the stripes around the side of the nose here. And then we'll put it here and here on the side of the cab. And on that same level, just keep putting the stripe banner coming all the way back to the back of the locomotive here. Then swing around the back, a stripe here. And then the one with the circle goes in the middle there. Then back to the stripe banner and keep wrapping it around. All on that same level and keep bringing the stripe banner forward. Put one in there and one on either side of the cap. Come up on the side here with the other two that have yellow. And right here on the side, we're gonna hang it kind of over the other banner and use those to make like this box shape for the logo. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So one block in front of that rear exhaust and hang it over the banners below it and make that box shape. Now we'll come in and put in our doors. So a door here and a door over here on the nose. Then we're gonna take out an oak fence for our railing. Start on the front on bottom, come up three over one, up one over one, and make that a two by two. Same thing here, come up three from the bottom, over one, up one over one, make it a two by two. Here we come up by five, and then we bring it over. I'm not gonna connect it to the cab because I want that stripe on the side of the cab there. Same thing here, come up by five, over two. Then we'll work on our railings on the rear end here. And it's pretty much the same thing as the front. Start on bottom, come up three, over one, up one, over one, make it a two by two. Up three, over one, up one, over one, make it a two by two. Then right here, we're gonna come up by four, and we'll start bringing that forward down the walkway to the front of the locomotive here. And just keep bringing it forward. Once we get here, we come up one, over one, up one, over one. Same thing, I'm not actually gonna connect it because I don't wanna delete the stripes on the side of the cab. But you can connect yours if you want to and delete those banners. Then on this side, we come from the bottom, up four, and straight forward to the front of the locomotive. Just keep bringing it up here. When we get right here, we're gonna come up one and over one. Now our railings are done and we're gonna take out black carpet. Carpet up on these stairs and then all around this front porch where nothing's built here. 
Same thing, up on those stairs. Come behind the cab on these stairs and then bring your black carpet all the way down this walkway to the rear of the locomotive. Come around the back porch wherever nothing's built and then start bringing it forward on this side. Bring it all the way up. Now we're gonna come up on the front here with an item frame. Put an item frame in the top middle with a glowstone for a headlight. Then on this one, the ditch lights are actually down on the plow, so item frames with glowstone down there for ditch lights. Then we're gonna take out a dark oak sign for our number plate, put it above the window here, and the locomotive number for this one is 1572. Same thing over there. Once you have your two number plates on, we'll come down and work on the back. So on the back, we're gonna put our number plates on the side above the banner. Same thing, one set five, seven, two, and another number plate on the other side. Then we're gonna put two item frames up here with glowstone for rear headlights. And same thing, the ditch lights go down on the plow here. Item frames with glowstone. I'm not gonna bother with a rear ladder on this one because we'd have to take out the banner. Now we're gonna come inside the front here and work on the interior. So come on into the nose with a smooth stone slab. Stack it up one block high in a row coming straight up the middle here to the back of the cab. Behind this door, stack it up to the level of the door. Up here, we're gonna stack a column all the way up to the bottom of the window. Same thing on this side. Then we're gonna come in the nose and put an end portal to be a toilet. Swing to the sides here and raise this floor up to the same level as the door. Same thing on this side, raise it up to the level of the door. Put one slab in that back there to be a stair. Then we're gonna go ahead and come in our inventory here and take out a door. And we'll put a door down in that gap. Then a slab on the left for a conductor's desk and a lever on the right for the engineer. Put an item frame over the middle and a compass to be a gauge. Spin around and put stairs to be your seats. Come back here, put a blast furnace on bottom, glowstone on top to light it. Now our interior is completed. Now we're gonna come back into our loom to make one more banner here. So come into the loom with an orange banner and black dye. Make the top half black. Switch to orange dye and put an orange border around it. This is for our side windows of the cab. So put a window banner here and here. Come around one on the back of the cab. And then same thing over here, come around and one on the back of the cab over here. Then we'll finish off the nose of the locomotive here. So we're gonna come up with a string. We're gonna come on the nose of the locomotive here, stand on it and crouch. Put a string above the end portal and a string in that middle gap. Then crouch and put black carpet over all this. And finish off the nose with black carpet. And there you have it folks. We've completed this Genesee in Wyoming GP15-1. So that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.